Hey guys, welcome to the 2023 book roundup. So this video, I will be sharing with you all of the books that I read in 2023. I have my trusted mobile here with me. I also have my Kindle and I also have the books here that I have read in 2023. I have not made a dedicated book video before, so this is my first one where I'm rounding up everything. You would notice some of these books that I mentioned them in the reset videos that I do, the monthly resets, but today I just wanted to share with you all of the books that I read and my thoughts. I'm not going to rate them, you know, four out of five, you know, like out of five or anything like that or what have you but in my notion I actually did put what I thought so maybe if I have time or if I remember I will include the rating that I gave in my notion but right now I just have the books that I read you can't really see this but the books that I read um oh it's so bright I can't see anyway it doesn't matter the books that I read in 2023 I still have two more books to read and those are the Mountain Is You by Brianna Weist. I, I hope I'm pronouncing the name correct. And my favorite author, um, David Bardacci for King and Maxwell. So this is the last book of the collection that I bought of David Bardacci's books. So these are the last two books that I have left to read in 2023. And I am planning to finish this book um, a week before you, you'll be seeing my video and then this book by the time you're seeing this video so without further ado let us begin I have my trusted um, coffee here because it's early in the morning when I'm filming this video so yeah okay so my goal for 2023 was to read 21 books and I have done that and these two are actually additional books that I will be reading so in fact I would have read 23 books 2023 which is quite um, on point isn't it with the year and I'm very excited to share with you the books that I've read because they have been a range of um, genres that I've read but you can still sense a theme in my reading pattern so the first uh, book that I read in 2023 was It Ends With Us by Colin Hoover and it's literally right there at the bottom I don't know if you can see it but literally right there I read It Ends With Us and I love this book I literally as I was reading It Ends With Us I started um uh, I started, uh, I actually bought the next book, which is It Starts With Us, and I read that in 2023 as well, but I think I may have started Ends With Us in 2022, December, but I never finished it, so I reread it in January of this year, and I finished this book, It Ends With Us. Then, after that, I went with A Die With Zero. This is a book that I want to say is a financial focus book. I have a lot of books. Like I may take um, a video of my little uh, book storage here, my Ikea book storage, but Die With Zero is a financial book that just teaches you how you can um, give to your family, how you can manage your finances first, but also give to your family now as opposed to waiting until you retire and stuff like that. You know, there's much value in helping your children, especially for like people who are close to retirement, I want to say. Um, there's much value in giving their children the money now as opposed to when they retire or when they die. Um, because right now is the time when your kids might be needing that help, especially if you've got older kids like myself. I'm in my early 30s. So if my parents had any wealth to give, now is the time instead of waiting for later. Hint, hint, mom. But yeah, so that is that book. I love that book. Then I read It Starts With Us by Colin Hoover. I read The Dilemma. This was my first foray into um, what is the author's name. Oh my God. The Dilemma is a book that one of my really good friends recommended um, to me. And I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like it or not, but I absolutely loved it. I'm trying to find it in my library because this was an incredible book, you guys. Now, not everybody, um, B.A. Paris is the author, B.A. Paris. Not everybody who actually read this book in my 
inner circle actually enjoyed it because the dilemma for me it was perfect because i imagined myself as one of the characters this is what i always do with all the books i imagine myself as one of the characters and i literally was just like oh my god it was very unexpected what happened and i enjoyed that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do any spoilers in this video so just know that i won't be sharing any of that so yeah the dilemma was absolutely great that was the fourth book then i read verity uh colin hoover's book um as well i i read enough colin hoover uh in 2023 let's just say that way so i read that then i went and read the therapist which is by ba paris so i started doing colin hoover and ba paris reads so after B.A. Paris, after The Therapist, I read Behind Closed Doors, which is by B.A. Paris again. Then I read The Breakdown, which is by B.A. Paris. Bring Me Back, which is by B.A. Paris, as you can see, like I said. And then I read Reminders of Him by Colin Hoover. Then Free Food for Millionaires, this book. Oh my God, it confused the life out of me. I honestly thought... What well, this was a financial book because of the name, but it isn't. And even though I enjoyed it, like I'm glad I read it. It was something different for me to read. Honestly, it just it wasn't something that I would have um if I had known, I would have picked up, if I'm honest, uh what it was. But I read it, I enjoyed it. Um the I was confused at for the most part of the book, purely because I thought it was a financial book and I thought it was going to get to that point, but it never did. But I'm also one of those people who just don't always just give up on a book. I will continue reading. But I do have one book that side, which is Malibu Rising, which I never finished because for some reason it just never clicked for me. But yeah, anyway, so that was Free Food for Millionaires. Then I read The Prisoner by B.A. Paris. And then I started reading um, my books by uh, David Baiodacci. So I read Endgame. Then I read Zero Day. And then after Zero Day, uh, I went back to Colin Hoover and read All Your Perfect and Regretting You. Then I read Never Never, which was Colin Hoover and another author. And then I went back to David Baldacci, read Simple Genius. And then I picked up another book called uh, The Happiness Advantage. This one was by Sean Archer. Archer? Or something like that. I hope I'm not butchering the name. Um, I then read Layla by uh, Colin Hoover. Things We Never Got Over uh, it was my first ever book of Lucy's score that I read. I read Things We Never Got Over. Then I read Things We Hide From The Light. That was the second book. And actually, I haven't included the third book. Um, let me go to my notion because my notion has all of these books. It seems like I didn't update my uh, the notes page in, in my notes on my iPhone. But the... So, Things We Never Got Over, Things We Hide From The Light. There was another book. What was it? Let me have a look, because I do have the Kindle here um, of all of the books that I read from Lucy Score. But I actually do like Lucy Score's type of writing, and I think I'll continue. She does very much remind me of Colin Hoover. And the series that I read from Lucy Score is called Knockout, and it's got uh, three books. They can all be read as standalone books, but I highly recommend that you read all of them. So I read, um, let me see. The first book was Things We Never Got Over. And then I read The Things We Hide From The Light. Then Things We Left Behind. Great books. Great books. Although I want to say for the third book, Things We Left Behind. <coughs> excuse me. After reading the first two books, I felt like in the third book, Lucy's score was trying a little bit too hard to create the sexy time in the third book. Um... Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, but I found myself scanning over some of um, the sexy time. I was just like, oh, okay, I'm over this. And some of the, yeah, I kind of like, I felt that way. And then uh, each one of these books has an epilogue at the end. And 
the first two epilogues in the first two books I loved, but the epilogue in Things We Left Behind I did not enjoy at all, if I'm honest. But yeah, so that was the third book that I read from Lucy Score, and that brought my to let me let me actually add in. Uh, so this book is Things We Left Behind, uh, and I will. This one I'll give it a four star because I mean I still love the book and yes I did complete the book um, a while ago I actually don't even remember when I completed it, it definitely wasn't uh, I think when I was on vacation so yeah I completed it before I came back from vacation so yeah um, so with that I now have 25 books in total if I include these two books. If I finish these two books, then I would have read 25 books. But because I haven't yet, I have read uh, 23 books so far. So 23, book, 23 books in 2023 has a perfect ring to it. It might even make me not read this, but I will read it because I want to read some books um, the last two weeks of the month. But yeah, so that is it for my book recap like I am not surprised that I read so many Colleen Hoover books so many David Baldacci books I'm not surprised at all and also B.A. Paris so these were my favorite authors that I read from I love um Lucy Scholes writing I love um Colleen Hoover's writing but I think I would I don't know I would give one one for each of them then BA Paris I would give her like three four and then David Baldacci I'll give a five because David Baldacci's books when I'm reading them I'm actually watching the movie in my head like how he writes makes me feel like I'm watching the movie in my head to a point where once I finish reading the book I'm like going on YouTube and stuff like that searching trying to find if it's actually uh, like that book has been made into a movie or not but King and Maxwell, I know it has. So when I finish this book, I will then go back and rewatch King and Maxwell because perfection, perfection. But yeah, so that is it, you guys. Those are my reads for 2023. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this book this book i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video